Hi everyone. How are you? How are you? I am streaming a little early today because my sweetheart, his parents are in town and you know, it's like one of those things, you know, when your parents are aging and you know, you get that extra chance to hang out. Hi, Janie. Um, you know, when you get that chance to hang out with your parents um, on a day that, you know, it just doesn't happen all the time. So for us, I, um, so for, you know, for him and for us, I'm going to stream a little early today so we can go hang out with his, with his mom and his stepdad who are visiting from Virginia. They're visiting from very cold Virginia <laughs> or Northern Virginia. I guess, it, I guess the weather's changed. Um, so anyway, if you guys want to make along today, I am going to make some watercolor junk mail. I'm going to paint some, I'm going to paint some watercolor junk mail. So I just wanted to let you know and I invite you all to come and hang out. You know, it's a really fun painting your watercolor. I'm sorry, I'm posting it in our posting it in um, the Crafting Mamas Facebook group. And for those of you that haven't joined the Crafting Mamas Facebook group, please do. Um, a lot of really fun ladies. We don't do any swaps. And there's gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen. We don't do any swaps, but it is just a really fun, you know, fun, fun time to hang out and to, I don't know, just really fun. So... Sorry, you guys. I'm like just trying to put it into the. Hey, Lynn. Hey, Jean. I, I don't know if you got here and heard my why I'm streaming early. I'm just streaming a little early because Hadi's parents are here. Hadi's Hadi's mom and stepdad are here, and um, we're gonna go hang out with them. So I got some really cool happy mail. I'm just gonna show you a little bit of happy mail. I got this from Shelly Balcom and. You guys are so sweet. You guys never have to send me anything, but this is so sweet. She sent me my first ATC coins. And so I'm like, wow. So she sent me some a beautiful, some beautiful ATCs. And they're just lovely. Wrote me the nicest note. And it just touched me so much. So thank you, Shelly. I appreciate it from one Shelly to another. But she, she sent me some beautiful AD, ATCs. And then she sent me you know how much I love kitties and puppies. And then she sent me these ATC coins, which are really awesome. Hi, Susan. Which are really, really, really awesome. So I just wanted to say thank you to Miss Shelley Balcom. Thank you very much. So I'm going to paint some... I'm going to paint some junk mail. So what I'm painting is the junk mail envelopes. You don't have to paint them. I'm doing them with watercolor. And most everybody has watercolor. These are some Perlex. These are not, they don't, I'll show you. They don't do great pigment, but they, but they have like a little shine. But these are actually really good. I can't even tell you the brand of them because I probably don't have it here and I've had them for a long time. But these are, you know, I don't remember. But I'll, I'll figure it out and put it in the description box at some point in the next and a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint some of these junk mail envelopes that are not, uh, so you can paint patterned ones or not patterned ones. And this is what I'm going to do today. And then I'm going to turn them into a signature for a journal. That's what I'm doing. So tell me what's going on in your world. Hi everyone. Hi Julia and Jamie. Nice to see all of you. And all you lurkers out there, say hey. Say hello. We don't bite here. Anyway, and I also have some magicals. I thought maybe I might use a little bit of those. How's your week been? How's everybody's week been? Mine's been real. I've had a really good week. I have to say, I've had a really, a really good week. So I hope everybody else is. Oh, thank you, Jean. That's so sweet. So, you know, like I love to save the security envelopes of ones that have patterns in them, but these are all the ones that don't have patterns in them. And I say, I don't save everything, you guys. Somebody asked me the other day, they like, they sent me like a message and said, you know, how do I deal with the, 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 
the stacks of whatever. You guys, I don't. I, I purge. You know? I totally purge. I think I have about 10 envelopes, and they're not all the same size. I may cut them down to be the same size or something similar. And I may not. So, you know, these are just going to be some journal pages. The other thing is that, you know, I get so many comments from people saying, you know, I don't have supplies or I don't have, um, you know, what they don't have. And this is my thing to you. You know, being creative doesn't cost anything. Seriously, you could buy yourself a, a, a 99 cent set of watercolors from, you know, you guys have a dollar store there. I don't have that here, but you could buy yourself a, a 99 cent water set of watercolors from like the Dollar Tree or from a big box store because I know they have lots of children's watercolor sets that are really inexpensive and you could create and this is just junk mail and most of these are like the envelopes that came from they aren't even the internal I like to save the bill envelopes you know what I'm, which ones I'm talking about the ones that are like the return bill ones you get oh my say your metallic watercolor paint oh no You've been driving today, Janie? Oh, and you just stopped? Oh, girl. You gotta take it easy. Be careful. Be careful on the road. Where are you driving from, Miss Janie? Hi, Debbie. Yeah, the business reply, Lynn. You've got it. And the business reply. You totally, totally, totally have it. Totally have it. Yeah. Um, you know, people, I get like all kinds, I guess prob probably because I do craft with recyclables, right? I get a lot of people that just say, you know, like, I don't have the money for things and thanks for showing me that I can use what I have or, you know, where I live, you know, where I live is remote as far as like, there is no such thing as a craft supply store here. No Michaels and Joannes here. And don't worry if you don't, you guys, you're gonna, we're gonna add to it, so don't worry about it. Hi, Dana. You're driving from the Smoky Mountains? No, you're driving from Smithville, Tennessee right now? Woo, to San Antonio, Texas? Woo! Hi, Lala. How's your sweet hubby doing? How is your sweet hubby doing? He has been in my prayers. How many of you guys were here for Tuesday's fiasco of 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 the internet of of YouTube? You guys, it took me forever to figure out that it was YouTube and not my bandwidth. It took me forever to find out that it was not my bandwidth. It was it was YouTube. You know what's fun about this project though? You, this is a fun project you could do with your grandkids or with your kids, you know, because afterwards I'm going to, I may not embellish it today, but I'll definitely do it on Tuesday. I'm going to turn it into a signature for one of my, for one of my junk journals. Now this one happened to be a uh, patterned on the other side, but some of them are, some of them I have so many of that one pattern that I'm not that, um, not, not that particular to you. Don't, I don't mind using it. But some of them I do. They're already having creepy pastas. What? You tried, but you never got on. You know what? I couldn't figure. Jean, it took me. For, you know, I was like, okay, because you guys know my little ridiculous story with the little guy that lives behind us and me battling for the internet with him. And it's our internet. <laughs> I need to change the the Wi-Fi password. I've actually tried, but I can't. Something, I don't know. They let, did something to lock it down for some, I don't know. Guys, it's more that it's over goes over my head. Lala says he's not great, but he's not giving up. He has been to all kinds of tests, doing outpatient. We still have a date night. Aww. He is as sweet as ever. Oh, Lala, big hugs to you, Mama. Big hugs to him. You know? I had the oddest thing happen today, and 
um, I'll share it with you guys. So somebody that I'm really, well, I thought I was friends with. How many of you guys have friends that, you know, you seem to be the more, um, more of the giver in the friendship? Does anybody have that besides me? I mean, you know, I know there's all different levels of friendships and this and that, and some that are closer and some that aren't and all that stuff. Um, I'm going to let it dry over here next to my, next to my other one. Anyway, so I had this friend and I often do, I offer, often support her in doing workshops. Like I go and I'm her, I'm her her help, right? She doesn't, it's not a financially, it's not a financial friend. It's not a financial relationship. So I go on my own time, you know, it's, she just can't really afford to hire anyone financially. So I go on my own time, but she needed some paperwork from me and you guys have sent it to her and she's not really super computer savvy for their, um, insurance policy. Like she needed some certain paperwork from her, her insurance policy for the wherever they're having it, the hotel's liability policy. So I sent it to her like weeks and weeks and weeks ago, you guys, maybe a month ago, maybe six weeks ago. I sent it to her and she called me and or she messaged me and said, I can't open it. And I thought that's weird, you know? So I said, okay. So I resent it. And then she told me she was like trying to send get it and trying to get it from a different device and I don't know what have you. So she couldn't open it. So finally I sent it to her as a PDF, right? And I had just taken photographs. I had, I had downloaded, I had printed the papers some when I was out somewhere. I'd printed them and I just I just downloaded them. I mean I just filled them out and I took photographs of them and sent them back to her. I didn't actually go to a scanner and send them to her. I just took photographs on my phone and then I emailed them to her. Well, today I get this message from her where she tried to call me. Well, because my in-laws are in town, last night was the only night that all the kids, like the, we could all go out for a dinner with them. And so tonight it's just my partner and I and his parents, but... Last night it was all the kids and us and, you know, because they all work and what have you. So she calls me or I call it, she messages me and I think something's really wrong because of the message. And, and we're, I thought we were friends, you know. And she yells at me, guys. And this is like early in the morning. This is like 7 a.m. I get up super early where I live. I found my man gun, so I'm going to, I may have to heat set these in a little bit. Um, and she starts yelling at me about this paperwork and I stopped her in her tracks and I said, you are yelling at me. And I said, this is unacceptable. And she just kept on. And so then I yelled back at her cause she wasn't listening to me. I said, you are speaking to me in a way that is highly inappropriate. I said, and on top of which I'm doing this for you as a favor. I mean, it's actually costing me money to come and do this. And I said, you know, I was, but you guys, it took me back. It, 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 it like, it like took me back. It just, it like stunned me. It made me like just stop in my tracks and, and it upset me, you know? And I was just like, wow. And then what I said to her, you know, she was like yelling and having her moment. I said, I'm going to let you go. I said, until you can get it together. I said, this is paperwork. This is not a life or death situation, you know, like yelling at somebody should only result if, you know, the only way you can get their attention is through life or death, at least of all, not paperwork for some thing. And hi, Diana. Hi, Cherie. And I just said to her, you know, you're speaking to me in a way you wouldn't even speak to a stranger. And then I just said to her, I said, you know what? She just kept on and on. I said, kindness is free. Kindness is free. Hi, Joni. I am a little early because I'm going to go out to dinner with my sweetheart and his parents. Kindness is free. So, you know, 
I had to really think about it. And I haven't finished. I, I, initially, I was going to rush off and go down to Staples or wherever. Not Staples, but, you know, whatever the office supply store closest to me is. We don't have a Staples. But and I was going to do all this stuff. And the more I thought about it, the more I thought about, you know what? First of all, I'm not going to do anything that doesn't bring me joy. And I'm certainly not going to put my energy out there to help somebody else with their business. They're going to yell at me. And then I got, I know you can't pass up a date, right? I, well, no, it's just his parents are in town. His mom and his stepdad are here. And anyway, anyway, and then I started thinking about it. And then I started like really thinking about it. I mean, after I got over the initial shock of being yelled at, <laughs> you know, like I was some, like I was some, I don't know. I don't know. Like I was some employee, not that you would yell at your employees because that's not acceptable either. Then I started thinking about it. I started thinking about when, since when have we come to a place in society where we think it's accept that it's, it's like we feel like we have the, that we have the, I don't know, to yell at other people. Like the, you know, it's like, it's just not acceptable on any level. It's like an, an uh, entitlement. Yes, Jean, you were like reading my mind. Entitlement. So you know what, you guys? I don't think I'm going to go do her thing. I don't think I'm going to go do her thing. Because you know what? I gave her every opportunity she wrote me a bunch of emails later on, none of which apologized, none of which took responsibility for her behavior. And I'm sorry that she's stressed out, but you know what? We all are. We all have some level of stress in our lives. And, you know, feeling entitled to take your negativity out on other people is just, I don't know. And, you know, I was like, I had all these things I had to do today, and I've just, I've been doing them and just thinking about it. Just thinking about, like, kindness. And I said, you know, and she's a big person that talks about peace and peace and peace and peace. And I said to her, I said, how can the world have any peace when you feel entitled to yell at me over paperwork? That was completely your misunderstanding or my misunderstanding. But either way, it's like, I don't know, you guys. I don't know nothing. Projection is poisonous, but the, but the bigger thing is, it's like, I said, you know, I just kept saying to, to her, I said, you know, you wonder, and I've listened to her over, like, things that have happened to her in her life and her family, and she gets really upset, you know, when her kids are, are not nice with her, and I said, you know, I've listened to you complain about how people treat you and this and that. And I said, but you're no better than anyone else. I mean, I said, look, you're doing the exact thing you admonish other people for. And I just, you know what, you guys? I was like, because I said to her, I don't want to go somewhere I'm not wanted. And I said, how do you recover from this? I said, you know, I said, how do you, so what, you go on and you think it's okay to be inconsiderate and unkind because you're having a, a, a bad week? I was just, you guys, I was done. No, I'm not. Hi, Julia. I'm not going to do it. You know, I really thought long and hard about it. Initially, I was going to do it because that's who I am. You know, I'm the kind of person, if I say I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it. You know, I'm not, if I'm, you know, committed to like, but you guys, I, I don't know. I'm just, I don't know. I don't know. But I was, I have to say, I was not, it was, it was fairly hurtful as far as that. But the bigger thing, more than like this hurtful thing or whatever I think I may have been feeling, was just, as Jean said, the sense of entitlement. The sense of entitlement. I don't know. I guess the older I'm getting, the less I can tolerate bullshit. <laughs> you 
You don't have, no, don't paint in the lines. You can do anything you want. I'm just, I'm just sort of painting however. No, because it's not about how you paint the papers. It's just about, first of all, painting them. And if you don't have junk mail, you can paint it with anything. You know, I just happen to have all these envelopes. I was, you guys, I've been some, doing some ultimately really serious, super, super, super serious, like, purging. Like, I am, like... I'm doing some serious calamari here. Not that I wasn't serious before, but I'm really serious now. Jenny said that happened to her at her past job. A coworker would yell at you every day for the first hour of the day. Oh, Joni, I, you know what? I'm just, you know. And then she talked down to me like I was like some I don't know. She said something I should know better, something like that. And I said, you need to back your words up. I said, you are speaking to me in a way that you would never want to be spoken to. And I said, and I've never spoken to you like that. I said, I've only been loving and careful. Hi, Linda. Linda, I just got your package, but I'm going to wait until Tuesday to show it because I'm going to do a project with it on Tuesday. Because I can't give it justice tonight because I'm not going to stay for the whole. Hold on early because my hottie, his mom, and his stepdad are visiting us. And you guys, they come like every couple of years. And his mom just recently had a health scare. And we weren't, we didn't think they were going to come. And she just decided last week that she was going to come no matter what. And um, so. So normally they plan all these things when they come, like they, you know what I mean? They do tourist things. But his mom said to me last night, that's why we hadn't really planned it. If I'd known, I would have done something differently. His mom said to me last night, she said, um, you know, I'm, my only plans this time are just to hang out with you guys. So with that said, we're going to... You guys, what's really big here, if you ever find your way to the Hawaiian Islands, is happy hour. Not necessarily for the drinking, but for the food. Um, they offer, like, all these really cool happy hour um, specials at, you know, some more expensive style restaurants. And his stepdad is a big food, um, he was a big foodie, so we're all going to do that. Hey, Deb, Deb says, one of those women I mentioned gets really upset and yells at other folks when mentioned that I thought anyone in her in her doctor's position would drop her after her tirade at him. She was offended at me. You know what, Debbie? Time to rid people from your life like that. You know what? I've really thought long and hard about it. You know, it's like, I make a, if I, if I, do anything that hurts someone's feelings I'm the first to apologize and if I'm completely unaware of it and somebody mentions it to me I apologize without missing a beat you guys even if I'm not even if I even if I think that I'm right or whatever because this life is too short to to not be kind right so I apologize even if it's not do you know what I mean so, she's had some 7 o'clock, you love these envelopes. Okay, Linda, I'm not trying to, to entice you to keep things. I've gone through my calamari, and I, I've gotten rid of a lot, but these were a few that I hadn't gotten rid of, I guess, they, in more recent mail. And, um, so, I'm not trying to, I'm definitely not trying to, encourage anyone to keep stuff that unless you want to but I am encouraging you to use what you have so if you don't have envelopes use whatever you have if you have like paper or I was also gonna paint this I don't know what it is you know I told you I have a friend that saves her junk mail for me so she 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 said she leaves it for me even if I'm not home so she saved her junk mail for me and I'm gonna paint that too but I'm excited to make these into a journal, um, into a journal signature. And then I'm going to use it, so. 
We're still going to do our wallpaper journal, Christmas journal. I'm going to still do that. Um, still going to do my altered Altoids, Christmas Altoids containers. I guess I still have all my plans. It just hasn't fallen in line. I've been a little inundated with doctor's appointments and stuff like that for my daughter. <laughs> Lynn says, some people are like turds, better fleshed out of your life. That is a good way to put it, Lynn. That is really awesome. Jean says, it was the first thing I, I cleaned, family and friends that are toxic. That's really, you know. I'll be proud. You just got rid of a whole large bag of envelopes and you kept the printed ones. Well, I'm painting on some of the printed ones. Um, and... I, it doesn't matter if they're printed or not. Some of the patterns on the printed ones, I really covet. So we're, we're going to, anyway, it, it won't matter, you guys. No matter what, it's going to come out good. And you don't have to be a good printer. I mean, a good painter. You know, and the other thing that, that's happened for me this week, and you guys pipe in and share with me what's happened for you, because, you know, I think so many times, so many of us have similar experiences we're going through similar things and we just don't know it until one somebody will say something and then you'll be like, oh, me too, you know? <coughs> um, <coughs> what has happened for me this week was <coughs> I started feeling and maybe, maybe other people will kind of liken this to I don't want to say mortality, but, you know, I just started feeling or seeing how short life is. Like, just some things have happened that has made me realize, and, and, and you know, we all know it, but you know, it's like sometimes you put it off, you're like pushing it farther and farther away out of your head because you have other stuff going on, right? But I just, I just started having that sort of feeling of, you know, every day is a blessing, and every day is, what kind of watercolors, Linda, I don't know. Can I tell, can I look them up and I'll put them in the description box? I've had these for so long. You guys, I have various and sundry watercolors. Um, Linda, I don't know, because I, 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 obviously I don't have the box and they don't have any writing on it, but I will look through my stuff and figure it out and put it in the description box. So... You know, it's like one of those things where you just kind of like wake up and you go, well, one thing that did happen to me, so today was after all that yelling or whatever that transpired, was I was going to go, because I used to run a very volatile business, like it wasn't my business, but it was in a very competitive field where people aren't nice to each other, you know, and it was giving me an ulcer, and I left, I left, I left a really high paying, um, high profile position because you guys I just it was like I couldn't do it anymore well this yesterday was it yesterday or the day before somebody called me that I had worked with and wanted me to take a position at a different company and you guys I've been really contemplating it like I've been really thinking about it you know, and I've also been trying to, like, think about my daughter and her things and, you know, all the things she's got going on, my littlest one. As you guys know, she has some health issues. And so, you know, I've been, you know, just, I've been really seriously contemplating taking this job. Well, you guys, after today, after this supposed friend had her tirade on me over papers that I didn't send to work free for her business... <laughs> Or I didn't send correctly. I sent them, but she couldn't, whatever. She couldn't open them. I realized that that job that I used to have was like that all the time. It was that energy. It wasn't People weren't yelling at you, but it was that sort of, you know, entitled to be combative with you energy. And I thought, mm, I'm not doing it. I just said, I even said to my hottie, I said, you know, because I mentioned it to him yesterday. I said, you know, they've called me for an interview and I'm thinking about it. And, um, and you guys know, of course, this came on the heels of, of me throwing away all my clothes, all my, or not throwing away, but thrifting or giving away all my work clothes. You knew that. I knew that would happen, right? So I was like, 
I was like, oh, you know, I was like, this is crazy, you know, and he said, because he said to me yesterday, he's like, why are you doing this? He's like, why aren't, why are you even thinking about it? You know, and I said, well, because, you know, we have all these new medical bills and <clears throat> all these things that we didn't have, and we've got a couple kids still in college, and, you know, we've got lots of, we've got kids and kid stuff, you know, it's always costly. And... You know, he just said to me, he says, I will support whatever you do. He says, but I really think that you just need to focus on you and do your own thing. And, and you know, I listen to what he says, but you know, at the same time, I'm also like, well, you know, it would be nice. Or, you know, I'm thinking about, like, how much easier it would be on us if we had that bigger extra income. Well, after this whole thing with this lady today, I was like, mm, I don't know if I can do that. You now you have a, a relaxing job. Oh, that's good. You're gonna take the kids to Disney next year. Oh, that's awesome. Hi, Liz. Quality time is precious. Quality time is precious. <laughs> but you know, no one wants to mess with a big trucker. Oh, Jamie, I love you. That's awesome. That is so awesome. Um, you know, I don't know. You guys, I know it seems pretty ridiculous. But I have been going through this. This week has been a really, aside from this morning, this week has been a really good week for me as far as, like, being able to stay in the zen, in the, in the midst of whatever, you know. And it's been... It's been a really good space for me to stay in the Zen, and it's also been it's also been a really good time for me to, you know, we went out generally when we go out with my in my in laws. I guess I told you I don't really do in laws, but anyway, I don't know what else to call them. Generally, when we when we go through our in laws or when we go with them or do do with them, it's stressful, you know. Or something comes up or whatever but this time it was like so so nice and the kids were all really good and you know it, it was a good it was good and I was grateful so this week aside from my momentary ridiculousness this morning at 7 a.m. it's been good You've been driving for 15 years? Oh, that's awesome, Janie. Well, wait till you see. I got the best Happy Mail from our Miss Linda McCollum. I'm going to do a project with it on Tuesday, though. And if you guys join our Facebook, Crafting Moms Facebook group and you go over there, you can see what she sent me. It's gorgeous. First of all, she's the most fabulous artist. And if you guys don't know her work, you got to go over to the... I keep telling her she needs to have her, her to put it up on YouTube, but, you know... Everybody does it in their own time, right? But she has done some, just, she made me the most beautiful fabric journal covers. So next, on Tuesday, I'm going to work on those. I'm going to work on those journal covers. How many of you guys were at Barb today? Barb was on today. It was awesome. How many of you guys were on with Barb? Our Barb Owen. Our Barb Owen is awesome. She, and if you guys haven't gone to her channel, it's how to get creative with Barb Owen. And um, today, I wasn't there the whole time. First of all, I didn't know she was going to go live. I would have I would have put it on my little note to do whatever. And I happened to get some electrical work being done in our house. So the electricity was off and on. So I didn't realize it too much later. I'm making you blush, Linda. You're a fabulous artist. What are you talking about? You're like a really amazing artist. So, you guys paint however works for you. I was just I'm putting color down. Then I'm going to get out my man gun, my big heat gun. Let you guys see it. For those of you, if it's your first time to see it, it's the most ridiculous heat gun you've ever seen in your life. My hottie bought it for me. He, he bought it for me. 
when my craft heat gun went out, and it's like an industrial heat gun. Okay, it's ridiculous. You missed Barb? Well, I didn't know she was going to be on. I think she's she's been having some, you know, she got a whole new camera system. And her her sweet son, Race, she calls him her technical department. He told her she needed to go live a few more times because it's been having issues, and he's not around. He's off doing work wherever, somewhere else, another another state. Anyway, so she told me she was going to, when I talked with her last, she said she was going to do some impromptu lives because he'd been honored to try and test out some other things. She didn't have any issues with it, but I didn't know she was gone today. So in the middle of her live stream, or whenever I finally got on, which wasn't, which she'd been gone, been on for a while, um, we had an electrician here, and he Knocked, he turned off all of our electric so I couldn't get back on to say goodbye or to watch the end. But you guys will be totally inspired if you go over and hang out with how to Barb Owen on howtogetcreative.com. Hi, Mary Kay. Hi, Mary Kay. Happy to see you. Happy, happy, happy. So, how you, I, I, you wrote me that you got a new job. What are you doing, Mama? Congratulations on your job, by the way. That's super awesome. What happened, Sandy? What happened? What did I miss? What is Cherie saying to you? My condolences and regards. I'm sorry. I'm watching my painting papers. I'm not watching the chat, so. Oh, I'm so proud of you, Mary. Happy for you, Mary Kay. So great. Congratulations, girl. Guys, I almost dipped my paintbrush in my coffee. How many of you guys have done that? I know I'm not the only one. Hi, Malia. I am early. I'm sorry. You know what? I was. It's just because I have dinner plans. I have a date. Oh, your mom has to. Oh, your mother-in-law. Oh, Sandy. Big love. You know, it's never. It's never easy when you lose anyone, and it's definitely when it's. And it's that close. I'm so sorry. Big hugs. We'll put her in our woo-woo. So on Tuesday, guys, for those that... So Tuesday I did a few minutes on YouTube, and then the computer decided... Then YouTube had its glitch. And then I went and did it on Facebook. So if you're part of our, our mom, Crafty Mom's Facebook group, you can see my, my YouTube Live on... Not YouTube Live. My Facebook Live, which was the first time I'd ever done Facebook Live, you guys. And I have to say, it was pretty good, I, although I couldn't read the comments, so I had to depend on our Miss V.A. Pearl, which I love her, Miss Vicki Brown. She came on, and she t was reading to me what everybody wrote. But after all of it, um, I came back, when YouTube came back, I came back and I did the woo-woo on Tuesday. So if you guys just want, so I know some of you just enjoy coming back and doing the energy work. So it is available on by itself. It's called Tuesday Night Woo Woo, okay? And it's, I think it's like 10 minutes in. I'm paying a $30,000 check. <laughs> no, it was a $50,000. Okay, you guys, I had to apply for life insurance. That's a whole other racket. Not because I wanted to, but because of something else. It's just ridiculousness. So I, even though I already have, I dealt with a life insurance thing, they still keep sending you all the things. So... Some of those have really, some of them have some good pattern paper envelopes in them. One company sends you these, like these bright yellow envelopes, which is kind of cool. Um, so. Okay, what is Mary Kay? What are you doing? You're working for what? I missed it, Mary Kay. Rewrite, write it again. Hi, Lolly. Write it again, Mary Kay. P C H Oh, public publishers clearinghouse. No, it was for life insurance. It wasn't P C H publishers clearinghouse. Oh my God. If I told, I could tell you the most ridiculous publishers clearinghouse stories. Not from me, but from. Clean house. You, you're working polling? Oh, that's awesome. 
cold calling fun stuff? I'm surprised they even still cold call people, but I think most people are not. I don't know. Maybe maybe you have a better luck cold calling people than than the average person. Guys, I get my junk. So I told you guys I have a friend who saves for me her saves me her junk mail. You guys would have the best laugh if you saw the junk mail she saves me. It's so ridiculous. And I tell her too. I got this is the most ridiculous junk mail. So she takes care of her brother and her. Well, she was taking care of her mom, but her mom passed away. Her mom was almost a hundred, so her mom lived a very long life. And. She lives here on my island, but her brother lives on on the island of Oahu. And so she travels back and forth to all the time. So all of a sudden a bag of mail will show up on my my door. So I get the most varied mail and some of the some of them are really cool. She saves me her junk mail. I just now because I have so much, I just go through it and I and I let go of what I don't think I'm going to use, like immediately, whereas I used to keep it before. Hi, Renee. You get a $40,000 check. Oh, it was sarcasm. You were being sarcastic. You get a lot of answering machines and dead calls. I had a cold calling job when I was in college. I... Guys, after like being hung up on like so many times, I was like, um, I can't do this. That was just me. But it's all good. We love you, Mary Kay. Just, just keep swimming like Dory, right? That's what we're all doing, right? We're swimming. So, um, I have, <laughs> I have, yeah, you get a $40,000 check from a car dealership every month. I get, um, what do I get besides these ridiculous, I get lots of ridiculous, life insurance things, even though I've like tried to take my name off the mailing list from all of them. What else do I get? Um, Oh, I get those, I get those ones from, you know, like the, where they send you the stickers. What is it? It's not March of Dimes. It's one like that, though. I can't think of what it is right now. I get lots of that. I get the veterans ones. I get all kinds of stuff. But with, since my, I'm getting them from my friend, oh, she, her mom must have been like on every mailing list possible because I get the craziest stuff from them it's like it's quite hilarious your favorite checks or refunds for five cents I've gotten a few of those but you know what I got from the Nielsen ratings they sent me a dollar in the mail an actual dollar in the mail like they wanted me to fill out this Nielsen ratings thing this like right say if I would be a Nielsen ratings television which you guys would do them no good because we don't have regular t we don't watch regular television the kids only watch like Hulu and Netflix and you know that sort of thing um, Amazon Prime you know so um, they sent a dollar in it normally I wouldn't open all that stuff but I did because I thought the envelope might be good <laughs> the refunds for five cents were too much you got five dollars cash for doing one of those Nielsen ratings things. Oh, well, that's good. Well, they send you a dollar in the mail if you to entice you, to, I guess, to do the five dollar part. So, Andy, for anybody that just tuned in, I am just painting my junk mail. I'm going to put it together as a signature for a journal. And it doesn't matter. And I'm painting it with watercolor, but you can paint it with whatever you have. And I may go back over it with some Perlex in it. Dana said she used to work at a bank and rebates were a big thing and a lady would bring in a stack of checks. Well, that's good. 
Janie said she got one cent from a credit card company that you overpaid and closed the account. Oh. <laughs> Mary Kate said she used to work for a call center in a repair department, and it was worse when the TV would stop working. They would swear at you. I'm sorry, Mary Kay. Hi, Susan. Girls, you know, have we all had the most ridiculousness in our lives at times? I know I have. I know I totally have. I totally, totally have. So tell me what you guys have been watching on YouTube. That you, okay, I will tell you what my one YouTube obsession is. Okay, you ready? You guys ready for my ridiculous YouTube obsession? I like watching dance videos. You know, like from around the world. Like when they do whatever they have, like dance videos. And I like wedding dance videos. <laughs> How many of you guys like wedding dance videos? I love wedding dance videos. So... I'm obs I don't watch them all the time, but I was watching them with, and, and, and my youngest daughter likes to watch funny pet videos, so we watch those together, and we laugh. <laughs> Danis's fake fart videos. <laughs> uh, I know, right, Malia? When you over, me and Malia said she overpaid a credit card company once, and they, they sent her a check for 17 cents. So maybe my my former friend that chose to yell at me today, maybe she was my biggest benefit because I said to my audience, did you know, after all that, I said, that's the kind, you know, because I used to deal with that every day at work. I, my old job, I was like, oh, I can't do it. Renee likes to watch Dr. Pimple Popper. Mary Kay says so she's been watching Gail. Agustinelli, Agustinelli, and her journal bookmaking. Oh, that's awesome. Um, Lynn watches Mr. Davis, and she loves his narrations. Mary Kay says her obsession is a Bigfoot. Well, that's cool, Mary Kay. I like dance videos, you guys. I really do. I love dance videos. They make me laugh. I just love them. Love dance videos. My littlest one is obsessed with those with fingernail painting videos. You know all those ones where they paint all the crazy designs on your fingernails. She's always asking one of my other kids to like, could you try to paint my nails like that? And we all laugh. You know. Malia says she watches Who's Line. It is it anyway. Lynn says she can't watch she can't watch Dr. Pimple Popper. Lynn says Gail is very talented. Liz says that she watches 70 cartoons 70% of the time. That's good. Lynn wants to know if you watch the Sasquatch Chronicles, Mary Kay. But aren't you guys like a little over like watching um, journaling videos? Haven't we all haven't we all made a, a lot of journal watch like Malia says Brian watches craft racing videos. And those are on your suggestions. Oh, my, what comes up for my suggestions, because my littlest one uses my YouTube account, are um, those nail videos and anime and dog videos, like dog and cat, The like, I think they're old America's Funniest Home videos, you know, and babies laughing. Babies laughing come up all the time, too. Hi, Jean. Everybody say hello to Miss Jean Peter. And if you guys aren't subscribed to her channel, go over and check it out. You will love, love, love her. She is fabulous. Hi, Beth. Well, I'm painting some junk mail envelopes because I'm going to put them together in a signature. But I may have to dry them with my heat gun because it is, they're, they're kind of wet. So 
some anime is rated R. I know. But trust me, Dana, I go, we go through it. I monitor it. That's why I make her watch on my channel and don't give her her own. But she doesn't have her own YouTube anything because I don't want her to... I don't want her to... Um, I don't want her to, to watch it. So that's why we watch it together. You're right. And some anime is some anime is pretty good. It's pretty awful. Malia says, I have babies laughing all the time when I'm watching YouTube. It's because I need a break from babies laughing. I get it, but I'm just saying like that's what the kids would, like. My littlest one, she loves to watch that, so we watch it together. Like she has, she'll have like she'll come and hang out with me in here, and then we'll have she'll have YouTube on on my television, and she'll be watching like babies laughing or those nail videos. I'm telling you, have 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 any do any of you guys have teenagers or have teenage grandchildren that are obsessed with those nail painting videos? Those are intense. Those nail videos. You know, it's like nail videos, like they're like some, there's some art on those nails. Jean's channel is, if you go, if you want to subscribe to anyone's channel that's right here, all you need to do is go to the right of their name and there'll be three dots and you can hit subscribe and it'll take you right to their channel and it won't take you out of the chat. I'm definitely going to have to get out some of my, I'm definitely going to have to get out some of my, my, whatever you want to call it, heat gun, because you have a new, Jean is having a new grandbaby in February. Congratulations, Jean. Guys, my kid's Although they're old enough to have kids, they haven't had any. I have one very young daughter, and then I have kids in their 20s. Okay, I saw these watercolor paints that I want. I'll have to tell you what the brand is next weekend. I don't remember. I wrote it down. I was watching somebody who was painting watercolor paints. I don't know. I have to find the video where the, the girl was painting watercolor. She was using these watercolors, and I was like, oh, my God. So, of course, I looked them up. You guys know that all my craft supplies are really virtually very inexpensive. Like, I don't really spend a lot of money on craft supplies. Um, and these watercolors were so expensive, but I put them on my bucket list. Just like, I, w I would do painting with them. I don't like go with paint papers alone. Congratulations, Jean. We're so happy. Trucker Janie says her oldest daughter is 18 and she does watch those nail videos. Right? It's like, I don't know why they're... Okay, so you have you never watched them? Why do you think they watch them, Janie? It, how, why do you think... If nobody else is, can, can comment on it, because if you... I think it's a little bit addictive. It's like music videos or something, yeah? It's like a little bit addictive. <laughs> Thanks, Beth. You're so sweet. I got a notification right before I went live that said Meridol wasn't going to go live tonight. Did anybody know why? When do you know why? I didn't. I didn't get a chance to go over and see what she said because I'm still in the midst of the electrician being here. Obsessed, right? I know those nail videos. Mine's so obsessed that the kids bought her some nail, like nail polishes and some other stuff that they have on those videos but you guys as you can can you tell how into that i am no i just saw right before i came on that Meridel had put up a video that says no live stream tonight so it's okay lynn you don't have to check it's all right i just did, thought maybe you knew maybe she's going out to dinner with her in-laws too So 
so I'm gonna I'm gonna get out my heat gun and then I'm gonna um, make sure they're all dry and then I'm gonna sew them into a signature. Now I can decide. I don't know if I'm gonna put a cover on the outside of them or not. It wasn't I haven't thought that far ahead today. Not thought that far ahead. Not that, that far ahead. So what else are you guys up to? What kind of soup are you making? You're going to try nail polish? Making painting paper with nail polish, it works good. I haven't, I mean, I know who Patty Tolly Parrish is. I, I've watched, so I haven't watched her in a long time. She makes her own watercolors. And then girl, she got to go over there and watch Patty Tully Parish make her watercolors. I love her as an artist. She's an awesome artist. Guys, I'm so behind on my YouTube watching. I really haven't, I, you know, I, I, I got, I caught a little bit of care. I'm going to turn on, okay, here's the man gun. You guys ready? It's a huge freaking industrial gun. I wouldn't suggest anyone get one because it's, she's tired from yard work. Oh, well then that's good. Making chicken soup? Oh, I want some. You use sprayers to make colored flowers? Awesome. Love some chicken soup. I'd be right there with some chicken soup. Okay. I'm not telling you guys to get this gun. I don't even know. He bought it for me because he thought it was better. This has a temperature gauge on it. You guys have to make sure if you do get one, put it on the coldest temperature because it can go up to like 1,200 degrees. Yes, I've had a round brush stuck in my hair, Julia. You have to, like, work it out little by little by little by little. Oh, Mary Kay, you never, hey, you, hey, you better watch out. Hi, Marilyn. You better watch out. I may just come over one day. You'll be like, oh, Shelly said she was coming over. So I'm going to turn on this gun. Sorry, you guys. It might be a little loud. The one good thing on here is it does show you, like, like this is a low temp and then it goes up. And I'm not going to do mine on a high temp because I have those plastic inserts. I kept all the, the plastic. I have gotten a round brush stuck in my hair. Do you have one stuck in your hair? One of my kids, my littlest one, got a, one stuck in her hair recently. It was a whole ordeal. We all were in there trying to get it out. I'm keeping the, the plastic on my envelope. You don't have to keep it on yours. I mean, it's your signature. Do it however you want it. You guys, there's no rules to this. You do it however you want. I just, if, if you put up your heat gun too hot, it will melt that plastic. Yeah, you need a new heat gun, Sherry? Sherry, don't get this one. This one is like a, this is the kind that you get to paint, peel your paint off the walls, you know? This is like a, that's why I call it a man gun. Because no woman would have ever bought it. He bought it for me. Oh no, you were sick and you couldn't get it out. You went to the beauty shop and it took them three and a half hours to get it out. Oh, mama. Yeah, you can make a shaker in it. You can make a shaker. I like to keep it so that you can see through to the other side. Yeah, buy a craft store one or look on Amazon. You might find a really inexpensive heat gun. You can get them for like under 20 bucks. You used to have this gun, Mary Kay. Oh, Mary Kay, this is my sweetheart. You know, he thought he was... You guys, they all... Like, my kids are on me now what to get them me for Christmas, and I keep saying nothing because I don't really want anything. But they don't believe the nothing part. 
So one year I said I wanted a new heat gun, and I meant like a $20 one. I think this was more like an $80 heat gun that you buy to, or more to take the paint off your wall. Jamie says she got her heat gun for $12 on Amazon. Shree's going to buy herself crafting supplies for Christmas. I hear you. Used to strip paint. When did she used to strip paint with a, an industrial gun? Beth said she found a new hair dryer for a second hand for a dollar. There you go. The only thing, the only difference between using a hair dryer and using a heat gun is if you ever want to use embossing powders, a hair dryer will not melt embossing powders. So that's really the only thing. Because my papers are no way, shape, form, dry. None. They're like, you know how they get, they're still, they're so damp, and if I want to sew them together, they definitely need to be dry. Mary Kay says she found, has three heat guns, and she found one really cheap at a garage sale. Gotta love a garage sale. Got to love a garage sale. Lynn says she's had the same craft heat gun for 20 years. Yeah, mine was fairly old too, Lynn, and I got mine second hand, but it just died finally. <coughs> it finally died. What are you guys watching on Netflix? See, this one I got too close to the heat and it's curling up the, the plastic, even though I have it on low. Cherie says she loves to emboss. Is it Cherie or is it Sherry? Now, I may have to glue my, my little envelopes back down or whatever because they're coming up, but that's okay. You pronounce it like Sherry. Okay, good. All you markers out there, say hi. So what are you guys all watching on Netflix? Do you guys watch Netflix? Well, I'm not, I don't actually, I'm not watching Netflix right now. Right now, I'm watching, like, Acorn TV, like BritBox, you know? Hi, Laura. Like, Acorn TV, BritBox kind of TV. And I'm watching a, a funny, kind of funny, funny, whimsical series called... Mr. and Mrs. Murder, and it's like, sort of like Murder, She Wrote, but Aussie style. Hi, Gail. Mary Kay says she enjoys watching the Chris and Holly show. They dumpster dive on the West Coast and scrap metal. That sounds good. Yeah, I usually do my lives at like 9 p.m. Eastern, but I'm gonna go on a date with my with my sweetie with his family. So, Lynn says she watches Hulu and she watches A Handmaid's Tale and Castle Rock, and Beth's watching camping videos on YouTube. You don't have you don't have Netflix.
You're watching The Walking Dead. Jane's watching The Walking Dead. I like The Walking Dead. Stacey's is going live in 20 minutes. Isn't she dead on 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 um, Patreon? Is she doing her Patreon live? Mary Kay says, Beth, watch Joe and Zach. They do a lot of camping. Once Upon a Time on Netflix. Oh, that's good. You know, Beth is watching Following Manifest. Oh, no, Gail says, oh, yeah, Stacy's doing a collab with Bootsy. We love Bootsy. Gail says she has Netflix only thanks to her son because on uh, you're on his account. You know what? I That's the reason I got Netflix because my kids were away at school and they wanted, and so it was one way they could all watch. So I got one of those that lets you have three devices or five devices, whatever, and three sign-ins or whatever. Did you see Booty's Pickle? Booty's husband John did a pickle video. It was really good. I'm going to make the pickles that he showed. I haven't done it yet. Hey, Elizabeth, how are you? So I'm just gonna try. I'm just trying to dry all my papers enough so that I can, so that I can. Uh... Susan says she doesn't watch much TV at all. Well, I'm just doing mine. I'm just trying to dry it enough so that I can go ahead and sew it into signatures, and then I'm gonna trim it off later. And I may have to go back and glue. That's what I may have to do right now is glue. Where are the ones that are coming up? Where the bits and pieces are coming up? And that one's not coming up. And this one's not coming up. The ones that are coming up from where the you know, where it glues itself down or where the thing is shut. You don't even have cable? It's not a big deal. You did a live video this morning, Mary Kay, and I missed it. Guys, it tells you where I've been. Well, I'm... Like, Kara did a live video this morning, and I missed it, but it was, like, at 3 o'clock in the morning my time, you know? That's awesome, Mary Kay. I'm happy for you. What did you do on your live video? What did you do on your live video? Guys, remember, this is just junk mail. You don't have to be perfect. Definitely not together. Hi, Elizabeth. You're working on a grungy medical junk journal for an order. Oh, good for you, Elizabeth. That's awesome. Mary Kay says she did her live video was on an altered golden book. That sounds fabulous. That sounds fabulous, Mary Kay. Definitely needs to be 
It's a series. Oh, okay, cool. Well, I'll have to come over and check it out. I won't be, if it's early in the morning your time. It's in the middle of the night my time, and the only time I really get to do anything is like Marital Abrams streams like something like four thirty in the morning, which is what that's like midnight my time wherever she lives or whatever. And if I'm awake, I try to watch it. She does it. She does mornings with Mary. How many of you guys have watched her? She does mornings with Mary, and it's awesome. But uh, those are usually the only ones that I get to because you guys remember that I'm in like my own time zone. <laughs> I have my own time zone and I have my own time zone here. I guess I should figure out which one I want on the outside and leave that one. I kind of like the one that's there. Let's see. Now, I know that November's coming up and December's coming up. So if you guys want, this is a really fun way to document and do like a November or a December daily without putting a lot of energy into it. Like you could paint your papers and then you could, if you wanted to add some scrapbooking things or some pictures, you only need 10 pages to do a December or a November daily because that gives you 40 sides. That gives you 40 sides of, 40 sides of paper and there's only 30 days in a month so well I'll definitely have to come over and check it out Mary Kay you guys please don't get offended if I'm if I don't get to see your videos it's not that I don't want to it's just if you guys are going live at like times where I'm not even awake or at home <laughs> Mary's in Nebraska so what time is her live you've been on her live Lynn what time is her lives they're like early, yeah? Okay, here's one that I didn't finish, but you know what? The, I mean, I didn't take, maybe I did. Just need to glue this part down. Lynn has some really cool content she does. She makes some really cool stuff. But yeah, it's 4 a.m. Pacific Standard Time is when when Mary, when Mary Kay is on, yeah, I'm not up at 4 a.m. You guys, I get up early, but not quite that early. I get up like at, um, it depends. Most of the time I'm up by 6 every day, but it just depends. It depends. It depends. This one I put glue on it. Now it's really sticky. Hmm. Maybe I'm gonna have to deal with this one. Maybe I'm gonna have to deal with this one separate because it's too sticky. Lynn makes some really cool stuff. You guys should definitely go check it out and see what she's making. She makes some really cool things. I don't even know how many pages I have. Let me count how many pages I have. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. This one has eleven in it. Maybe I'll save this junk mail and use it as inserts. You know, use it as clip outs and inserts. Okay, so I have eleven. And I'm going to see, I'm going to figure out what I want to put in the center. Maybe I'm going to put a different one on the center. Let me see, maybe this one. Maybe this one in the center. All right, I think that one might. Let me see. That's fine. Oh, you're so sweet, Lynn. Yeah, I think we've all been crafting. You know, like, whether we knew it was crafting or not, we've all been crafting a long time. How many of you guys have, like, you know, you've been crafting since you were in school because you've been gluing stuff down for years? Okay. All right. Let me see. I've got some thread. A big spool of 
bright red waxed linen. And I'm just going to do a three hole pamphlet stitch on it. What's going to be an avalanche? What did I miss? <coughs> and I'm using some ribbon and cruel needles. People always ask me. I usually like to use tapestry needles, but I like whatever's a blunt needle. Like you don't need a super sharp needle to soak your paper. The way they sound like after, after, yes, they sound cool, right? And I don't know what I'm going to do on the inside. Like I have some ideas, but I don't know what I'm going to do totally. I may go back and paint some of the insides out now. Oh, I stopped the paper from falling next to me. Because I have to keep the fan on. So where my craft space was before, I had windows everywhere. Oh, an avalanche in the craft room is called a craft avalanche. I hear you. So my crafting space before was, I had air. Here, I don't have air. So I have to, I have to, um, I have to keep the fan on and it blows all my papers around. It totally blows all my papers around. Maybe I should pick a different, maybe I should pick one that's like a big one for the cover. Because I'm not thinking. Let's see. Let's see what's on that side. Maybe that'll be my cover. And I'll put this one. This has got a tip out in it. So I could put that in, I'm put that in a couple of pages in. Well, I hope this inspires you guys to keep your non-beautiful envelopes as well as your beautiful envelopes, you know, your beautiful pattern envelopes. You guys know, oh, Jessica Rapp sent me, I'll have to show it to you guys. I'll show it to you on Tuesday because I don't have them over here. Jessica Rapp sent me, Jessica Rapp sent me some patterned envelopes. She sent me some really cool pattern envelopes. Like they have green patterns and different things that I don't normally have. Okay, so let me just figure out where I'm gonna, I'm just gonna sew it, you guys. I'm not even going to, I'm not even gonna measure. You know, I don't think it matters. This is just a, this is just a, This is just a, you know, it doesn't matter. I can cut it off if I wanted to fit inside something. Hi, Auntie Doll. How are you? So I tried to do my, I tried to organize my new little space. You guys, I have, it's just right now, it's just not. It's one of those things where, you know, you have to, I'm going to, I need it. I need a, like a new configuration. I need to like go through, I need to basically decide what I'm actually going to work on for the next, say, three or four months and then organize it based on that because otherwise, I have one really short envelope. I just want to try to catch it in there. Um, otherwise, I'm not going to be able to. I'm not going to have. I don't have a lot of room in this in this bedroom. This bedroom is like. I told you guys, my whole house is small. My house is super duper uber duper tiny, which I'm not complaining about. I'm, I love my house, but it's just tiny and. All my kids are home right now, so, and I think one of Hottie's sons is coming to visit for the holidays, which will, you know, I'd rather have my kids around than the craft stuff. So I just have to, like, take it out and move it around and, and do whatever. 
and do whatever it is that I need to do so that I can so that I can have a functioning craft space. You're at a party. You're at a wedding party, Auntie Doll. How fun is that? That'll be awesome. Well, I'm not gonna stay. I'll be I'll be here with you for a little bit longer, and then um, maybe I should have done a five-fold pamphlet stitch because I didn't do. Hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and sew it together now, but I may go back and do a five-fold stamp, five, blah, 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 blah. five fold pamphlet stitch because. I have such long papers, but I don't know. We'll see. And I'm using wax linen because that's what I have. I'm not telling you to go buy anything. You guys hear me clearly. I'm not telling you to buy anything. I am not telling you to buy anything. What's cool about wax linen is if you sew it together, you can unsew it just as easily. So it is sewn together. Not perfect, but it's sewn together. Now I can decide. Let me just fold some of these in. These are my scissors as my bone folder. Really cool little painty paper book to work in. I may go back and add some. How many of you guys have used these Perlex watercolor metallic colors? Bye, Julia. Big hugs. Thanks for the thumbs up. I appreciate it. Your best friend's daughter is having is, is getting married, Dottie Doll. Oh, that's awesome. I was gonna tell you guys, I had some hilarious things happen this week. I was just trying to remember them all because you know how like you know how like when you're in the middle of it, you're like, this is ridiculous. Hang on, I'm gonna go get some clean water. I'm gonna add some Perlex on this, and then I don't know what else I'm going to do. Hi P Luke. You have some of these from US Art Quest. You guys, I got these. Remember I told you there is that group on Facebook called Stampers, Swappers, something. I can't remember the name of it, but if you message me if you want to know what I'll send it to you. They sell a lot of inexpensive, like people de-stash on that group. And I got these in a de-stash. I didn't pay very much for them. I, I wanted to try them, but I didn't. Hi, Rosie, but I didn't want to spend a lot of money. I'll be right back. I'm just going to grab some more. I got to get some clean water. I just want to see how they're going to work. I don't know. I haven't, I, I used them on one project when I made some little embellishments, but I didn't, but I, I don't have the, I don't know how well they're going to really work. Does that make sense? Sorry, I got my mess going on over here. I got my papers and everything. Appreciate a thumbs up if you guys are, feel so inclined. Because actually YouTube does not map care if you get a thumbs up or a thumbs down. They view it the same way. Isn't that funny? Alright, so let's see. Let's just see how these work. Let's we paint them on the inside. Since, I, since I'm not a Prolex girl, I don't know. You're not going to really be able to find a clean page. Or let me find a, let me find a not... Let's paint it on this. Let's see what this looks like. These Prolex paints. I, I painted some embellishments with them. Ooh, I'm liking them. I painted some embellishments. Oh, look at them. Can you see? Ooh, now I know why everybody loves them. But you guys, I just don't want to spend the money on them. So I got mine for... I don't know if you guys can see the shimmer. Can you see the shimmer? Can you see it? I don't know. 
Good night, Laura. Sleep. I hope you have a wonderful night. But they, oh, they, they are really good. Okay. So maybe I won't, maybe I will, maybe I'll just put a little bit on here and then I'll, and I'll let it be until I decide what I want to do with them. How many of you guys are Perlex fans? You know, a lot. Oh, wow. They look really beautiful. Okay, I'm going to show you the gold. I'm going to get it up close to you. I'm going to find my, I don't have all my mark making tools, but I'm going to find my mark making tools. I'm going to do some marks on it with it. Can you see them? They're really cool. Thanks, Laura. Thanks for the thumbs up. Thanks for the thumbs up. All right, let me see. Seeing as I'm not a big, since I don't really know that much about them. Oh, all right, guys. Now I'm like, so only get them if you can get them used, though, because they're a little expensive otherwise. I love that Facebook group. It's run by a wonderful woman named Ginger, and... You can de-stash your stuff there. And it's international. People do it from all over the world. And um, it's a really great group. Really, really, really great group. And I like it a lot. Felix says she likes the stuff, but she, forget, she forgets that she has it most of the time. It sounds like all of us. She, Lynn says she uses a different brand. Oh, uh, your grandson is in the marching band. Good night, Debbie. Big hugs. Thanks for hanging out with us. Felix says that she likes her stuff, but she forgets she has it. Felix, I think that's the same for all of us. I don't think it's just you. I'm going to see. Let me see if I can paint with these Prolex on my, my Carla Cage fish stamp. Well, I'm not going to stay on too much longer. Um... How many want woo-woo or no woo-woo? Doesn't hurt my feelings either way. And I'll finish working on this on Tuesday. I'll do the embellishing on Tuesday. Maybe I'll make a cover too. And then I'm also going to work on... Um, Linda McCullum made me the most... Oh, these work great with your mark-making tools. Here, I'm going to hold it up and show it to you in just a second. Um... Linda McCollum made me the most beautiful fabric journal covers, so I'm going to fill those journals on Tuesday, and I'll, I'll show you guys that, and I'll, and I'll work on this on Tuesday as well. Like, I don't know if you can see it because I did it in gold, but I'll do it in a darker color so you can see it, but can you see that these make beautiful... Hey, Gail. You'd like the woo-woo? You can always come back and listen to the woo-woo anytime. Vicky, hey, Vicky, yes. So I don't know if you can see these, but let me see if I can do a darker color. But maybe I'll experiment a little bit more with these Prolex, these Prolex um, paints. You guys hear Charlie's little fingernails? She, I need to take her and have her nails, her nails clipped. I haven't done it. I need to. You know, she was so abused that. We, we just, we kind of go with what whatever with her, and we try not to, like, impose too much on her until it's absolutely necessary, but she needs to go to the groomers. So we can do the woo-woo. So these Prolex I'm a fan of, and I'll work on them a little bit more. Hi, Anne. So for those that are that are going to stay, we'll, st we'll do the meditation. Go get your water if you want to, and for those that don't want to, please, you know, you can always come back anytime and watch it. Um, the energy work stays on the... Energy work stays in the in the video. I mean, any any of them, it stays it stays in it. So if you want to do it, uh, many people like to use um, like to have energized water. And somebody's gonna say, "What do you do with it?" Well, you drink it, and so basically, your body is made up of so much water, right? And so. I love this car. I love this concentric circle stamp. It's all Carla Cage Fish's fault. She's the one that turned me on to it, and I love it. So I think I'm going to go, maybe, I wasn't planning on doing this, but I think maybe what I'll do is I'll find my mark-making tools that I really love, which I don't have close by me today, but 
and I'll go back through and I'll use this Perlex to or some metallic watercolors that I have to um, to stamp the my little journal. I'm also going to make some embellishments for it. So back to the energized water. So your body is made up of primarily of water. So you know when you're drinking water, that's why it's so important that you drink the cleanest water that you can, right? And so, you know, it affects you. Good night, Mary Kay. Big love. We did start a little early, Cassandra, because I have a date with my sweetheart. And I'm sorry. And I, I didn't let anyone know because I didn't know. His parents are in town, so we're, we're going to go over and hang out with them. So we made some we, we watercolor um, painted our junk mail envelopes tonight and we're going to work on making I'll finish this on Tuesday I'll embellish it I'll add some marks on the outside it may make a cover I'm going to definitely make some pockets and some you know some really cool stuff you guys I really want you to use what you have use what you have do not go out and buy anything it is not it's not about what you buy it's about using what you have and so go out and buy yourself, I mean, go out and grab your junk mail and some inexpensive watercolors and watercolor. And watercolor. Guys, this, I have to say, now I think I'm going to be in love with these Prolex paints and I should have been like, see you guys? But don't buy them new. Look for them in a D stash. Um... You know, that and the other watercolors I used, I don't know. I'll have to tell you next week what they are. I don't know. I'll have to look up and figure out what they are. I've had them for a long time, but I'm sure if I go back through, I can figure it out. Usually I try to keep things in the packaging because people always ask me what they, what I'm using. But maybe in this case, I didn't keep the packaging because I probably used it for a junk journal. Okay. <laughs> I probably used it for a junk journal. How many of you were like that? You're like, oh, that looks great. I'm going to use it for a junk journal cover. <laughs> okay, I'm really liking these Prolix paints. Liking them, liking them. Okay, I'm going to, so go get your water, and we'll do, we'll do a really short um, woo-woo, really short meditation. And you know we can do it if you if you know anyone that needs a little extra boost you can always bring them to mind for your energy work. I just want to dry it because I like it and I don't want it to get on the other side and it's wet because I added lots of water to it. So how many of you guys are going to stay for the woo woo? And if somebody is mildly, mildly curious, you know, you can just say yes, that you want to stay, but no, you don't want to receive the energy work. You will, however, feel a little better afterwards. Energy work only works with conscious consent. Okay, now I'm in love with these Perlex. Now I know why people like them so much. They really make a nice, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to find my mark making tools that I love. Carla Cage Fish, I have some stamps that she made. I'm, I'll look for those if I didn't put them in storage. And I'll maybe I'll get those and use those on my journal so you're saying okay good all right so all you need to do to participate is oh you have your water all woo -woo. oh good I'll let you know and you can make a glass for your husband too if you want so all you need to do to participate is inhale through your nose and exhale through your mouth and I do a type of breathing like a yogic breathing so I'm breathing in through my nose and I'm audibly exhaling out through my mouth. Some people call it aha breathing. You don't have to breathe that way if you don't choose to. It just works for me. You receive the energy no matter what. You can do this work with your eyes open or your eyes closed. Um, and all you need to do is just breathe and relax into you. That's it. You can include anyone you would like to include, your pets, your home, your job, your coworkers, anyone, anyone you know that needs an extra boost. 
But know that it just like when you say prayers for other people, it is always up to their higher self whether they choose to receive the energy work or not. So, you know, just, just letting you know. All right, so let's get started. Inhale through your nose and exhale out through your mouth. Receive and release. Receive and release. Receive and release. Imagine yourself in a column of light. And when you look up, you can't see the end. And when you look down, you can't see the end. This is your column of light. It is your unique, unique to your being, soul, spirit. Allow your column of light to enter deep, deep, deep into the earth. Give your column of light big roots, anchoring yourself, your light, deep into the heart of the earth. Let's ask the earth to bless us with her energy. I feel this energy like a warming sensation and I see it like a beautiful gold, molten golden light. But you can see it, feel it, think it, or just know it any way that works for you. Feel this beautiful molten gold energy rising up through your feet, filling your feet and calves, your knees, thighs, hips. Feel it rising up and filling the base of your spine, your lower abdomen, your waist, your heart. your back, your shoulders, your arms, your wrists, your hands, and out every finger. Feel it filling your neck and throat, your face and head, and feel it fountaining out the top of your head as high as you can imagine. Ready? Breathe it in. Breathe it in. And breathe it in. Take a moment to enjoy your connection to the earth. I'd like you to focus on your column of light and follow it. And give it the suggestion, heart of heaven, heart of the creator creation energy heart of the central sun and with that your energy is right there in the heart of this beautiful angelic cosmic realm. Let's, just, let's invite this energy into our column of light. I see this energy like beautiful silvery diamond light that you can see it, feel it, think it, or just know it any way that works for you. Feel this beautiful diamond light energy pouring through your column of light. Feel it filling your head and face completely, your throat and neck, mixing with your energy in this beautiful golden earth energy. Feel it filling your shoulders, your arms, your wrists, your hands, and out every finger. Feel it filling your chest and back, your waist, your lower abdomen, the base of your spine, and feel it pouring through your hips, thighs, knees, calves, and ankles, and out the bottom of your feet, expelling any and all excess. Ready, breathe it in. Breathe it in. 
and breathe it in. Take a moment to enjoy your connection to heaven and earth. So I'd like us to focus on the point of light where we meet in the heart of the earth. And on the inhale, I'd like you to receive divine peace, divine love, divine clarity, and divine freedom. Ready? Breathe in and receive this beautiful energy. Receive in love. Receive in love. Make sure your roots are deep in the earth and allow them to grow as far and as wide as possible. Breathe and receive this beautiful energy, divine peace, divine love, divine freedom, and divine clarity. Receive in love. Receive in love. Focus six feet below your feet. Receive divine peace, divine love, divine bliss, divine freedom, divine clarity. Receive in love. Receive in love. Receive in love. Focus one foot below your feet. Receive divine peace, divine love divine bliss, and divine freedom, and divine clarity. Ready? Receive in love. Receive in love. Receive in love. Focus on the base of your spine. Receive divine bliss, divine love, divine freedom, divine clarity. Receive in love. Receive in love. Receive in love. Focus on your lower abdomen. Receive divine peace, divine love, divine bliss, divine freedom, divine clarity. Receive in love. Receive in love. Receive in love.
focus on your waist. Breathe in and receive divine peace, divine love, divine bliss, divine freedom. Receive in love and divine clarity. Receive in love. Receive in love. Receive in love. Receive in love. I'd like you to focus on your heart and open the window and allow whatever needs to expel from your body to leave like smoke. Any feelings, any things that are no longer working for you, allow it just to leave. On the inhale, receive divine love, divine peace, divine bliss, divine freedom, divine clarity. Receive in love. Receive in love. Receive in love. Receive in love. Focus on your heart. Receive divine peace, divine love, divine bliss, divine freedom, divine clarity, receive in love. Receive in love. Receive in love. Okay, I feel some of you holding on to some energy in your heart. Let's let go of that heartache. Put that window in your heart, open it up, see anything leaving, disappointment in yourself, disappointment in others, heartache, heartbreak, all of that. You just want to let it go and receive, breathe in and receive stress, anxiety, regret. Not feeling loved, yearning, all those things. Just let them leave. Open the window. You can make it a two-sided window. It can open in your back and it can open in your chest. Just open it up and see all those energies that are not you leaving. Breathe in and receive divine peace, divine love, divine bliss, divine freedom, and divine clarity. Ready? Receive in love. Receive in love. Receive in love. Receive in love. Allow your attention to focus on your throat. Breathe in and receive divine bliss, divine love, divine peace, divine freedom, and divine clarity. Ready? Receive in love.
receive in love. Receive in love. Focus on the center of your forehead. Receive divine peace, divine love, divine bliss, divine freedom, divine clarity, receive in love. Receive in love. Receive in love. Receive in love. Focus on the top of your head. Receive divine bliss, divine peace, divine love, divine freedom, and divine clarity. Receive in love. Receive in love. Receive in love. Receive in love. Some of you may feel a crown on your forehead. That's perfect. Allow it to be what it is. Receive in love. Receive in love. Receive in love. Receive in love. Focus one foot above your head. Receive divine peace, divine love, divine bliss, divine freedom, divine clarity. Receive in love. Receive in love. Receive in love. Receive in love. Focus six feet above your head. Receive divine bliss, divine love. Divine peace, divine freedom, divine clarity, receive in love. Receive in love. Receive in love. Receive in love. Focus on the highest point of creator creation energy that you can imagine in the heart of the central sun where your tree roots are anchored. On the inhale, receive divine peace, divine love, divine bliss, divine freedom, divine clarity. Receive in love. Receive in love. 
receive in love. Receive in love. Put one hand on your heart and put the other on your water. Let me know when you feel this energy. Awesome, clear. I want you to bring to mind anyone else that you'd like to include. Always include your home. You only have to bring them to mind one time. Your home, your pets. Pick a place on the earth or an element. The water, the air, the animal kingdom, the plant kingdom, the mineral kingdom. Receive this energy and send it out. Ready? Receive and give. Receive and give. Receive and give. Receive and give. like you to imagine an infinity symbol like a figure eight starting in the highest point of heaven that you can imagine the heart of creator creation energy the heart of the central sun feel it crossing through your heart entering deep into the heart of the earth crossing back through your heart and ending where it began on the inhale receive love from creator creation energy from the heart of the central sun and the heart of the earth and any form of the divine that you identify with and on the exhale give back love to the heart of the earth the heart of the central sun the heart of creator creation source energy and any form of the divine that you identify with ready receive and give Receive and give. Receive and give. Receive. 
receive and give. You feel ready. Open your eyes and come back. You can come back and listen to this energy work as often as you'd like, and the energy stays there. I invite you to try it. The more you do it, the more you become very aware of who and what you are. It's an amazing journey. Well, you're so welcome. Hi, Barb. Hi, Scotty. You guys are never too late. You know, you come at the right moment every single time. There's no such thing as being late. Feel free to share anything that you'd like to share. There's no right or wrong. We all see, feel, and think different things as we do it. Um, for me, I kind of go mindless. I don't really think anything. Um, oh, you're welcome, Miss Vicky. Love you, girls. I love you. You girls are my peeps. You're right on time. You always are. Always. You never have to worry about not being in the right place at the right time. You are. Oh, love you, Lala. And love to your husband, you know. And you can come back and listen and put him, put your intention to include him and his health in it. You guys, we're all vibrational beings. What you put into your body, it's like the food and the water that you drink is what you experience. When you come back and you do this work, you are putting in the highest vibration of divine love into your body. You're receiving the highest vibration of divine love. And so as you do it more and more and more, divine love, divine peace, divine freedom, divine clarity, you're, it's like taking a vitamin, you're infusing your energy with that. And as you go on in your life, in your daily life, and you do your own things, you'll feel it much more, you'll feel it much more clearly. Oh, Claire, I'm so glad. It definitely will help with your anxiety. It definitely will help with stress, anxiety, health issues. Also, the chattering we have in our mind, you know, it will help with that. Well, I enjoyed making this. I hope you guys make one. I'm going to work on it on Tuesday, and maybe I'll make a cover for it. And I'm definitely going to bring my mark-making tools. I'm going to put some pockets and stuff, and I might, I don't know if I'll make a cover, but I might. I haven't quite decided. Lynn says it helps their physical health. Lynn, share with everyone what happened for you just doing the woo-woo. And tell them about your, um, cheers to you, Claire. Let Lynn, show you feel relaxed, stress-free. Oh, good. You know, and you can listen to it. Look, you can't do too much, okay? Unlike things, you know, it's like you can't do too much. You can't do it too often. And you'll feel something different every time, you know? But Lynn had a very profound experience just coming and doing the woo-woo. Um, I don't know, do you feel comfortable sharing about your medical tests and stuff, Lynn? Lynn had a very profound experience. Guys, I don't know what it is about painting papers, but I definitely have my, I have a love for like ridiculous painting papers. Lynn saying her blood pressure went down in spite of not watching her weight and exercising. Went in and it was high and they gave me 10 minutes. She got her blood pressure just by doing the woo-woo down to her blood pressure when she was in high school. It will definitely work. And the more you do it, the more your body says, oh, this is my normal frequency. This is the best way I vibrate.
Well, I love you girls. I'm getting ready to go on my date with my sweet hottie and his family. And I love you and I'm sorry. And Lynn's saying she's still not on pills. So I'm just letting you know it does work. You know, and it works and what's really best for you. I don't think she came here with the idea that she was going to, you know, work on her blood pressure. But it works for you. Hi, Jamie. I'm sorry I was on early today, girls. I, because I'm going to go on my date with my hottie. I love you guys. Go on over and watch Stacey Pink Little Crafts. She is doing her booty sweetheart collab. And I will go back and watch it on a video. I'll watch it when they do the playback. You guys have a wonderful night. Thanks for staying with me. Thanks for being my peeps. Know that I love you. And thanks for hanging out and painting like junk mail with me. It was fun. And I'll see you guys on Tuesday, okay? And as always with girls, from my heart to your heart, I'm sending you so much aloha. So until Tuesday, love you girls.